So for us, um, uh, the next step is going to be that um, uh, these three functions that were added to uh, class date, uh, of course, they need uh, uh, definitions because these are just declarations of these functions. Just as with uh, functions uh, such as uh, these functions here, a serial Julian date, serial to month, which is pretty much part of our homework, um, those we can uh, uh, qualify as free functions. These functions do not belong to any uh, class, uh, to any other uh, 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 scope. So they're just free functions. They're, they're available to be called at any given time, right? So they just uh, depend on their input variables, uh, do some computation and return back the result. And this is the type of the value that is being returned. So far, this sample just very easy to follow because every value we use so far internally is an integer, right? So we call them free functions. Uh, another name is global function, but I prefer to call them free functions. Free functions versus member functions. So member functions, unlike free functions, they belong to the class name date. Uh, and uh, But like these functions, they require definitions because inside the class, I provided only declarations uh, that uh, provide the name of the function, list of parameters, and uh, the type of the data that it returns. For instance, set date right here doesn't return anything back. So let's try um, uh, to add the uh, definitions of these functions. Similar approach, I uh, will go to say view with my source files. I prefer to use Solution Explorer. And of course, definitions of the functions belong to the normal source file implementation file, which we have to add to the list of outsource files. Just a reminder that should you should never add a header file .h to the list of source files because .h is not a source file. The header file is not a source file. Header file is a header file and source file is a source file. So therefore, uh, here I will just say add new item and uh, so ooh, what I just did was I just uh, clicked on the type of the file, but I touched the wrong button. So let me just go ahead and um, uh, rename this file. Uh, we can rename it right here in the Solution Explorer. And what I meant to do is I meant to uh, say class serial date, right? So the name of the file that I just added and now I renamed it. It's called class serial date. Now I will close the Solution Explorer. Uh, I can quickly check my source directory and verify that all of my files are still present in the same directory, right? So recognize that uh, I keep all of my source files in a separate direct uh, directory and we have our header files and we have our, our uh, CPP files. Everything is under source. Right, so back to the header file, and right here, uh, we need to, I typically begin by copying and pasting the name of the file at the top, like this. Okay. And then I will copy and paste these declarations of member functions. I may even include the comment right here. And we'll copy and paste it into the source file. Uh, you can make, uh, you know, if you highlight them, you can use a shift tab or tab to uh, adjust the indentation uh, altogether like this. And of course, um, uh, the, the initial step should be to remove the semicolons. Semicolons belong to function declarations, but not to a uh, definition of functions, so typically we remove these. Then we replace the semicolons with a set of uh, uh, braces to give functions 
uh, the, the actual body, right? Where we can uh, write uh, what the function does. But because the, these are member functions, it's uh, important to prefix their names, just the names, uh, by the name of the uh, scope, which is class date, to which they belong. And this is how it should look like, just like this. Date, set date, date, get month, and date, uh, get day, get year. All right. Um, so these are uh, definitions of our member functions. So this is how the declarations look like inside class date, inside the header file. Uh, in a separate implementation file, .cpp, we have member function, uh, we can say a member function definitions, right? And these are member functions, member function prototypes or declarations. Okay, so these are the declarations and these are the definitions. Of course, uh, the way it's written is not going to compile because um, we need to take care of the serial date encapsulated inside the date class. Now, notice that my choice is that, uh, I mean, originally, uh, we started experimenting with individual integers, month, day, and year, and say, okay, we should know how to convert them to uh, uh, um, uh, to a single integer named serial date. But because such conversion is possible, then um, inside the date class, I decided to store only one single integer, just serial date. Because having the serial date, I can convert back to the calendar parts, month, day, and year very easily. Okay. Um, so then, um, uh, with uh, given 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 this, uh, of course, um, uh, because I already have uh, declarations of the functions like uh, that are capable of doing all of this. Right. So let me move this to the previous file. Remember, we had serial date dot h with which we just started, and these are free functions, not uh, members of our class. So now, I guess what I can do, I can split this view into a um, new vertical tab group like this. And I can now say that um, in order to be able to set date, which is this function that belongs to the date, uh, and this is the integer which is encapsulated inside the object name date. I can say something like this: uh, serial date equals call to serial Julian date with month, day, and year. Right. So just let me just use the name of the function. Right. And. Uh, the size of my screen just a little bit to make it the other way uh, trying to guess the right size okay this is fine uh, <clears throat> so serial julian date and um, if i pass to this function month day and year which are my parameters. So this is all I need to do in this part of my <coughs> program. I right? just pass <coughs> month, day, and year to function name serial Julian date. But at the same time, because uh, this is class serial date, a uh, separate implementation file right here, what I need is I need to include the header include the header which is this header serial date.h which provides uh, declarations of these functions if i provide this uh, include then i can call these functions without 
any concern at all because they're all already defined in, inside this uh, serial date.h. Likewise, in order to be able to provide get month, get day, and get year, all I need to do is to take my uh, essentially return, right? Return a serial and pass it the serial date. And uh, similarly, I just copy and paste this and replace the names by serial today uh, for the day portion, serial to year for the year portion. But uh, you see, it should all work because I already store serial date inside my object. And uh, I have functions that can take this integer and convert them to month to day and to year, and all I need to do is call this function, get the result, and immediately return it. Now, let's take a look at, let's move this to the previous step group, and let's take a look at the main, uh, let's take a look what we can do in our main uh, function. So instead of doing all this work that I did so far, I just want to be able to jump from the date to the display part. So this is the way it should work. So I create this date, then I say inside this uh, date, I have function set data or set date, right? And I will pass what we had before. Uh, the month was 12, the day was 31st, and the year was 2019. To be able to display month, day, and year, now I have to say, uh, instead of saying month, day, and year individually, I no longer have these integers. Uh, but um, what I can do, I can say date, uh, get month, right? Month. And likewise, uh, get uh, day day like this and get here uh, let's uh, switch to more like a vertical display instead of horizontal display I prefer to do this all the time actually because it's making the code much more readable and it's easier to make adjustments to the code like this so here we go get year Right, and finally new line, and finally semicolon, so that uh, this way, you know, you can easily copy and paste between those things and uh, rearrange them very quickly if you need to change the format. But uh, this should be uh, proving our concept that we said that we now capable of creating a single variable named date, able to set the initial values, 12, 31st, and then we should be able to say, okay, what is your month and what is your day and what is your year, and be able to send it right away to see out because they return integers and uh, it will all sh should be shown correctly. Let's, let's make sure that we can build this program uh, that appears to be here is not... Um, Liking it is not a class. Um, oh, uh, of course, uh, in my serial uh, date CP file, implementation file, I also need to include serial date.h so that the compiler knows that date is a class, right? So having this header file, I need to include, just like I did with serial date functions, I need to include my header file like this. Okay. So now, compiler will know from here what is date, that date is a class. And from here, it will get definitions of the functions for serial date. So let's do it again. Okay, very good. So it builds correctly. I run it. 
and you see that it's still printing the same thing. Now notice that this printing is happening. This printing is happening right here on this line. Where's my main function? So right here, uh, this statement. So we say date, set date, and then see out, get month, day, and year. This is the result that what it prints. 